Hello students, this is Ashwini from Chedda.com. Today, we will talk about a very interesting problem from the Regional Math Olympiad in India. We will learn quite a lot using this single problem. We will learn about in-centers of a triangle and how they are related with the different sides of the triangle. We will learn about the parametric form of the sides of a right triangle. All of these things come into one problem. And I, I, I say this over and over again. The best way to learn mathematics is by doing beautiful problems. So let's start with this one. This one says that there is a triangle ABC. It's a right triangle. This angle is a right angle. And we want to show that the in-center or in-radius actually, the in-radius is an integer. It is given that the right triangle's sides are all integers. And we want to show that if the sides are all integers, then the in-radius of that triangle is also an integer. Okay, so how do I go about showing it? The first step is to explain what is an in-radius. What is an in-center? Maybe many of you know this, but I'll say this one more time. It happens so that the angle bisectors of the angles of a triangle all meet at one point. So if I draw it, if I draw an angle bisector of angle A, if I draw the angle bisector of angle B, and if I draw the angle bisector of angle C, the three angles of the triangle, if I draw the angle bisectors of all of them, turns out that all these three lines, they meet at a single point. This particular point is called the in-center of the triangle. And it is often denoted by the letter I. Okay, so what is an in-radius then? An in-radius is simply, if you drop a perpendicular from that particular point to all the three sides, all of these green pieces are equal. So all the green pieces that we have drawn so far, these three pieces, I have sort of taken them off and drawn them here. You can show that all of them are equal and this is the in radius. Let's denote it by the small letter R. How can you prove that all these green pieces are equal? It's very simple. You can show that these two triangles are congruent. These two angles are of course equal because it's an angle bisector. This angle is 90 and this angle is 90. And this particular side is common. So by angle side angle congruency, these two triangles are equal. So we have these two sides are equal. Similarly, you can show that the other green side is also, this one is also equal with all of them. I want to show that this in radius is an integer. It's an integer if the sides of a tri right triangle are also integer. Okay, so let's see why that would be true. So before we do that, we want to relate the in radius with the sides of the triangle. This is the next goal. So let me write in a different page. The next goal is Express the in radius. Express the in radius. Express R in terms of in terms of A, B, and C, the three sides of the right triangle. So, how can I do that? If I go back to the previous board, let us use the area technique here. What is the area of triangle IAB? 
area of triangle IAB. Think about it. You can use the in radius to figure out the area of the triangle. How can you do that? So IAB is simply half times R is the height. R is the height. So half times R times AB. AB is the base. AB is opposite to the vertex C. So we will denote it by small c. R times C. Similarly, triangle IAC is half times R times B. And triangle IBC is half times R times A. The side is A. So if I add all the three triangles, I will get the entire triangle is half times R times A plus B plus C. That is the area of the entire triangle. But it's a right triangle. It's a right triangle. So it's also half times A into C. A is the base, C is the height. So this is also half times A into C. So I can cancel out the half. So I have R equals to, R is equals to AC over A plus B plus C. This is true for any right triangle. What's awesome about it is that I have expressed the in radius in terms of the sides of the triangle. Okay, now that's great. This is true about any right triangle. So now we want to show that this expression turns out to be an integer. This could be a separate problem in itself. It's kind of exciting, right? Okay, so now I need something called the, let me write it down in a different color because it's a different idea. Here is another idea. We want to use the parametric form. of the sides of an of a right triangle triangle. Now this we have discussed in great detail in the book, The Invitation to Mathematical Olympiads. You can see more into the, the discussion for a lot of detail related to this single idea. There is a chapter called the a Pythagorean Excursion. You can see it there. Okay, so what is the parametric form? Basically, if you have a right triangle, suppose we have a right triangle, A, B, C, then we know this side is small a, this side is small b, this side is small c. That's how the convention goes. That's how you denote the sides. And the parametric form is saying a very simple but beautiful fact. Here is the fact. And one can prove this and the proof is really interesting. The fact is that there are integers u, v and t. There are three integers u, v and t such that a equals to 2u times v times t b is equals to u square minus v square times t and c is equal to u square plus v square times t. The proof is actually quite standard but I will not be able to discuss the proof in this particular video. Why not? Because it's a long proof and the more important part is it's a very important part of um, modern algebra, how algebra interacts with geometry. So I should, I don't want to just say it in a passing remark. At the moment, I will just use these facts. I'll just use these facts in this, in the context of this problem. But in a later video, we might go and go ahead and see the proof of it. Okay. All right. So let's go back here. So I want to express this in terms of u, v, and t. 
I want to see whether that makes it an integer or not. Okay, let's let's do the calculations. So what we'll do is we will write a as a is two u v times t two u v times t c is u square minus v square times t u square minus v square times t Uh, sorry, u square plus v square times t, sorry, plus v square times t and divided by this particular a plus b plus c. So, I think the, uh, yeah, I think the naming is a little bit different. Yeah, so, this is a little bit wrong. Yeah, this one is b is u square plus v square. And C is u square minus v square. Oops, made a mistake. The the particular um, hypotenuse is u square plus v square. All right. So let's write it properly then. Okay. So this is C is u square minus v v square by t. And now in the denominator we have two u v t plus u square minus v square times t plus u square plus v square times t. So first thing first, the t cancels off. One of the t's cancel off. We can just take it common and you can cancel it off. And then what you can do is, what you can do is you can do the simplification. This is 2uv, u minus v times u plus v times t divided by let's do the calculation 2uv plus u square minus v square plus u square plus v square so these two cancels off and then it's just one line so it's 2uv u minus v u plus v times t divided by you can take 2u common so you have v plus u here so v plus u, u plus v cancels off, 2u, 2u cancels off and you are left out with v into u minus v into t which is the value of r. So what we have essentially proved is that r is a product of integers therefore r has to be an integer. I hope you learned something from this video. It's a very interesting problem that brings in the notion of in radius with the parametric form of the sides of a right angle triangle. Thank you for watching this video. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. We have outstanding programs for Math Olympiad, Physics Olympiad, Computer Science Olympiad, research programs for school students, and leadership programs. I think you will like it. You can check the link in the description for more detail. Bye. Take care.